USCIS reopens services, what you need to do. The USCIS plans to open on June 4, and in order to protect the workforce and the public from exposure to coronavirus, this government agency requires that all applicants, petitioners, and visitors over the age of two need to wear face coverings. As the USCIS services begin to reopen, offices will reduce the number of appointments and interviews, to ensure social distancing, and this will also give them time to clean, and reduce the waiting room occupancy. Some offices will still temporarily be closed, but the USCIS, shall continue to provide limited emergency in-person services. You can call the USCIS Contact Center, for assistance in case of emergency services. When going to a public place like the USCIS, you still need to follow social distancing, by staying six feet apart from other people. You have to follow the USCIS directions and signs, markings and physical barriers, to maintain social distancing during the screening time. The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services has the right to deny entry to anyone, who does not wear any face covering. There will be guidelines that you need to follow, once you enter the USCIS facilities. You could not enter the facility, for more than 15 minutes before your appointment, 30 minutes for naturalization ceremonies. There will be hand sanitizers, that will be provided for at entry points, so always try to follow instructions. You are also encouraged to bring your own black or blue ink pens, because they don't want you to borrow anyone's pen, just to be safe, with the COVID-19 pandemic going on. In order to take your photograph, or confirm your identity, you will be instructed to briefly remove your face covering. Since the USCIS has sent you an appointment notice, simply follow the instructions included in it, which includes information on safety precautions, and your scheduled appointment at the designated date and time. Do not come to the office, if you are feeling sick. Understand and follow the instructions on your appointment notice to reschedule your appointment, once you are better and healthy. Please remember that there is no penalty, if you want to reschedule your appointment, if you are sick. It is important to know, that you will not be allowed to enter the USCIS office, if you are experiencing symptoms of the coronavirus, have had close contact within the last 14 days with anyone known or suspected to have it, have been instructed by a healthcare provider to isolate or self-quarantine within the last 14 days, or you refuse to wear a face mask, in accordance with the USCIS policy. For those applicants with scheduled appointments, there is a limit to the number of people in the waiting room, so you could be accompanied only by your attorney. You can also have only an interpreter with you, but if your interpreter can be available by phone, then this is also good, to lessen the number of people getting inside the USCIS building. If the applicant being interviewed is a minor, a parent's legal guardian or a trusted adult can be there for the child. An applicant can also have immediate family members, who are listed as dependents on the application or interview notice. A person who is assisting a disabled applicant, can also be present during the scheduled appointment. USCIS strictly prohibits guests at naturalization ceremonies, at this time, because it will be limited only to the applicants, who are scheduled to be naturalized, and for those people who are providing assistance to disabled people. Always bring your face coverings, because it is required during the naturalization ceremony. The USCIS is following the guidelines of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC. The CDC is advising the public to use cloth face coverings, to help slow the spread of coronavirus. Since this virus spreads easily through respiratory droplets when an infected person talks, sneezes, or coughs from person to person, it is a requirement to wear a mask in public places.